what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna to be doing a let's build of a polar express train so let's get started here uh, you're gonna need some black wool some gray wool a gold block uh, some blue stained clay uh, red stained clay some glass panes and some fencing and you'll see what we all need that for later on in the video so let's get started. Uh, you're going to start your first block uh, on your rails. Uh, your rails are going to be a gap of three, uh, either stone or iron. Uh, whichever one looks great in, the, in your texture pack, and wood or brown wool, depending on what you want. I'm going to start off by making the wheels of the locomotive. Uh, this is what your wheels are going to look like, the letter T. You're going to need four of these. So go in either, any direction you want. And you're going to repeat the same look on the other side once you have it done. Basically just transfer over where your wheels touch the rails. Just like that. That's going to be your wheel base for this train so far. We're going to add a little more wheels later on, but for right now, that's what we're going to leave it with. So now you're going to want to build this up. One. Two. And you're actually going to bring this one out. This is going to be the little platform that you can walk on. So you're going to get rid of this. You're going to bring it up one. And pull it out one. So now you kind of got like this weird looking shape. I don't worry, it'll turn into a train eventually. Uh, so for right now, you're going to take this block and you're going to pull it down one, just like so. And you're going to leave that block there for more detail later. You're going to pull this up three by three. One, two, and that last one was three. So pull this side down. One, one, two, three. All right. So this is what you're basically going to be looking right, right now. And right now we're going to build the uh, circumference circle for the locomotive. So all I like to do is I like to pull out a line like this, and then start making the engine. Let's well, see. We don't want it to touch the ground because of the way this engine was built. So we're going to make it one three and I'm going to pull the other one out longer pull it up just like that and there you guys have it that's going to be your small circumference circle or your circle for the engine and basically what you're going to do now is you're basically going to pull all this back it's right around here see here soon that the engine's going to start taking shape. We're going to see more and more of it. Let's see, as you see now, it kind of looks more like an engine. And it'll go further down. I just want to get, show you guys the uh, basics of this for right now how I do my engines. So this is what it looks like. You've got your wheel base. You've got your front of your locomotive so far. Uh, we're actually going to take these down. They're going to go down by one. And then we're going to build a platform in front. Just like that. It's going to be a small platform. You're going to leave those holes there for now. And now what you're going to do is you're going to build out 
Uh, don't mind the snow. Or rain, depending on when you're building this. And that's going to be your little cow catcher there in the front. Now you're going to take your wood fencing and you're just going to put a little barrier right there in the front. You're going to come up to the front of the engine again and you almost want to build a little smaller circle. Just like that. Right up top, right here. You make your little smokestack. Put it right back here. Two blocks back, make it too high. Right here, you can put your gold block for your bell. And if you really want to get fancy, you can put two blocks next to the gold bell. Those are going to be your number boards later on. Uh, Pull out some lime green clay, and we're going to put the little markers on the side. Your markers are going to go right here, and you're going to put another one right here. So there's your markers. If you want, grab glowstone now, and place glowstone inside of that hole. That's going to be the light for your engine. start taking this back. As you can tell the front's basically done. We're going to add some fencing in later. Go underneath right here. You're going to put a 2x2 two two block there. Now you're going to take your gray wool from that and you're basically just going to run it across where all your T's were connecting. Just like that. That's going to be your piston system. Leave that down there, never mind. Looks better like that. And you're gonna do the same right on the other side, guys. You do the two, and take a two down, and then take your gray wool and run it across until it meets right there, and that's where you're gonna stop it. Uh, I wish it would stop raining, we could get a lot more done. Add a black wool top right there. So as you see, it keeps going back. And right here where the wheelbase stops, we're going to add five more blocks on it. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to bring back everything but the wheels five back. Now that you pulled everything back, uh, now you kind of want to build a cab with a locomotive. So the cab's going to come up and it's going to meet right about here. Kind of want a spacing for your uh, walkway right here. And the door for the walkway is going to be right about there. Basically, the cab of the locomotive, you're going to pull it out in one and then build up a little bit. Just like this. This is just going to be our starter. We're going to add all our angles in after this. Sorry, it's hard to see. This rain is being terrible right now. Let's see if we can't fix this rain problem we're having. So, let's take a look around this engine right now. You have your wheelbase down here. You have your two walking areas along the side of the engine. <clears throat> You've got your smokestack. 
and you've got your running running lights, your light on your engine, and the bell. So we're going to keep moving back. We're going to be back here again in the cab with this locomotive. So that's, what's, that's what your cab's going to look like, guys. A little different, a little smaller than normal. Basically, what you're going to do on the inside, you're going to connect all the wool up. this up instead I just noticed that uh, we kind of want a little window slash door for the outside of this locomotive there we go so that's what it's going to look like for right now guys we're going to actually build the inside a little bit better Lock off a lot of the stuff. So basically, now you have two little doorways leading out to the walkway along the side of the locomotive, and that's what you guys want. That's where your windows are going to go, and you're actually going to put another window right about here. So you want to actually expand the cab out one more. The cab's going to be four uh, four wide. Put two more windows there. And connect everything up. Might be wondering what's going on here. Well, this is where we're going to take the wheels. We're going to bring this part up right, right after the wheels. Might be wondering what's going on here. Uh, we're going to expand this back some more. Just like that, guys. On both sides. Don't forget, you're working on two sides of a locomotive. So it's kind of going to look something like this. Now we're going to add another wheel set in. So just add some wheels back here. one here pull them back and you're gonna put another one right now take that one out put it there put the other one there do a little more spacing just like that now we're gonna add some more domes on the top so this is how we're gonna do the dome you're gonna put three just like this and put one on top that's gonna be one of your domes you have a really large dome on top right behind it you're gonna make it three long three on the top and three on the side a little bit bigger back here by the cab you're gonna put one more up and then pull that up one You've got a smaller dome right here, but we're not going to put a topper on it. So right now your engine should look kind of just like this, or maybe a little different depending on how you guys want to build it. We're going to add some windows in here. Window panes. These are going to be either windows or doors depending on how you guys want to build it. And now we're going to do the tender car now. 
The tender, the tender car is going to be very simple to build, guys. Basically, you want to give a two space gap and then pull it out. Two space gap. And pull it out to where the cab meets on either side. Now you're just going to pull it back as far as you want. So we're actually going to make it 10 long. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 long, guys. And go out as long as the cab is. Basically, you guys are going to have to build this up to right here where the cab meets. So I'm going to finish building that up uh, all the way around, and I'm going to show you what happens after that. So once you have this shape, guys, you're going to go right up here to the front, pull it up. You're only going to pull it up by one. And you're going to make it the same on the other side. You guys are going to have to fill all this back in like this. Fill it all in with black wool, and we'll be back real quick. Now you guys can fill this section up here with coal, uh, make it look uh, unique and different. So once you're in the locomotive, this is where you want to put your hopper system right here. You can put coal so you can shovel it over. And you're actually going to build a little tiny path like this, so you know it's not too much far of a walk across. You add two. Actually, what you're going to do is you're going to take your windows, and you put your windows in, and you're going to cut a slot right here in the locomotive. This is where your fireplace, firebox is going to be. You grab your chairs, and you're going to put one here, and another one here. Grab some levers, and some buttons, and some trip wire. Your levers are going to go all along here. Put some buttons on the wall. And even put a trip, uh, trip wire up here. So this would be where the engineer would sit. Pull the lever back and all that fun stuff. Uh, your fireman over here, he's going to get some buttons and levers as well. And in your fireplace, if you guys would like, you guys are going to take some stone or silver fist bricks, as long as it looks good. Go into your firebox here, pull it back some. Basically you guys want to fill in this little small area up a little bit. And then we're just going to block it off. <laughs> Basically what you guys want to do is you guys want to fill in this small little area up a little bit more. 
And then get a fireplace or a furnace. Put it right back there. And then what you want to do is you kind of just want to make coal or anything in it to make it look like it's working. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'm not going to show you me putting coal in there. It would take way too long. Um, oh, I almost forgot. We do need wheels. So take out your black wool again. And go into the hole. Or if you don't have the hole, it doesn't matter. Go in here. And put some wheels set in. Just like so. And go up here and do the same now. So that's basically what it's going to look on this side as well, guys. So let's take a quick look around at what your locomotive is going to be looking like. So here is the Polar Express train, built in Minecraft. Yeah, it's not a big train, it's not a small train, it's very lengthy. We're actually just going to fill that up a little bit better. You know, pull the cab up so the glass isn't the dominant thing looking out there. There we go, guys. Looks better. Uh, if you guys want to do anything else, you guys could take white wool. Um, or even cobwebs. And go up here to the smokestack. And... Basically put some smoke effect in. Just like this. And it looks like the engine's going down the track. Alright guys, thank you all for watching my first Let's Build. I'll see you all next time.